I say I think the uh, the group of teams that are in and around us are very much you know very close in terms of the levels that they can play at and the outcomes that they all achieve. It's um, it's it's really close. It's tight. Obviously, coming into that fixture on the back of a, a midweek performance against Scunthorpe, result perhaps not quite reflecting what was a was a solid display. No, we want to win 100% of the games. I can guarantee 100% of the time that's not going to happen. So um, we lost on Tuesday night, but we gained in many other areas of um, of the process of of the development of of our players. To think about you know what actually affected the night was two very early injuries with Piggott and and uh, obviously the potential asthma attack of um, of Blair Adams. So we had to make early changes, but. When you're thinking about who we brought on, you know, three youth team players who have all excelled at that level, to give them that opportunity of first team football against a really, really good team, and the, you know, the the way that we um, adapted to the change in formation at half time, you look upon the second half team, and there were so many teenage teenagers on the pitch, and and those in the young twenties. So I was delighted. I was. I was. Genuinely delighted with the um, the performance level of Tuesday night. Just quickly reflecting on those two injuries you, you discussed earlier. Obviously, it's very early in the game. Good news this week following that with regards to Blair Adams, but not so good news with, with Joe Pigger. No, good news with Blair. You know, I mean, those that came to the game saw just how, you know, the desire that he's shown to stay on the pitch. We couldn't take a chance. You just can't. We'd have never, ever forgiven ourselves if something really sinister would, would have happened after the... You know, after he stopped breathing how he wanted to breathe. So, right decision bringing Blair off. But the losses that Piggott's um, got five stitches in his head wound and um, he was concussed. So, when you concuss like that, it's a seven to nine day recovery process that he has to get through. So, we'll miss Joe this weekend. We'll miss him in the FA Cup replay next Thursday. And, yeah, it's a big loss. Whilst we're on injury news as well, not, not so good news either for Adam McGurk, who, who looks like he'll be on the sidelines for an extended period. Yeah, yeah, terrible news for him. Terrible, terrible news for Adam. It's just been a, a disastrous start to his spell here at Cambridge United. It's um, what we thought was a, just a, a random, I suppose, a, a routine dead leg, albeit a very, very horrible one because it's, you know, it was painful for him. It's actually turned into a, a grade two tear on his thigh, so he's got a thigh, a thigh tear that's going to keep him out for probably a month. So, um, big loss, big loss for everybody, um, but we have to get on with it. Absolutely, unfortunate news for Adam, but when you've got the likes of, of George Maris and obviously Medialito as well playing plenty of minutes in, in the last week, it's certainly a case of a door opening for those two. Yeah, without a doubt, you know, we're pleased that Maris is back in the in the fold and likewise for Medi. Uh, Medi left the group full of confidence and playing at the top of his game so to get him back and I thought he played really well on Tuesday Med I thought he had a really accomplished display um, obviously played in different positions for us but I think he's shown a lot of quality and class when he was on the ball so delighted that Medi is available and like I say likewise for, for Maris. Just quickly before we look ahead to the, to the league forum and what's coming up in the next four to five weeks a couple of announcements regarding the Cups the first, obviously, Bradford City in the Checker Trade Trophy for the for the second round. I guess that's the draw you'd be, you'd be fairly pleased with. Well, you look at you know the potential opponents that we could have got, and um, <laughs> with, with us being the the most southern, northern-based <laughs> club, it kind of you look at the league and you think, well, we could end up anywhere within about 300 miles of each other. <laughs> so to go and end up in Bradford's not the end of the world, and it's it's actually a very good game for us. Good team. Really, really good team. Stewart's got his um, team right at the very top of the league and had an outstanding start to the season. So, and obviously, you know, we we cross paths with Greg Abbott again, who, who, who sadly lost us early on in the season. So, it's um, it's a fantastic draw for us and one that we're looking forward to. And likewise, in the FA Cup, we obviously, you know that the day of the replay will be played next Thursday on television, and then the opportunity to play the Morecambe or, or Coventry City in another home time, the second round, is, is the price for that? Yeah, I mean, what a fantastic, um, what a fantastic opportunity we've got to play in front of the, you know, the, the watching public, the, 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 the bigger public on the TV. Um, you know, we want to really look upon it as a positive. We want us to really go there and we want to produce a performance that gets us through into round two. Um, but Dover are 
Dover will have the same intentions, of course they will. And we knew that when we played them at home, we knew that we played well. We were unfortunate that we didn't get through on the day, but we knew that they held some clear, clear, um, potentially dangerous players. And with, um, with Miller in his side, you know that they're, they're going to be a goal threat. But I'm looking forward to Saturday first. You know, Saturday first, Crawley away gives us an opportunity to, you know, try and get the three points, and that's what we're looking for. And of course, going back into Saturday and, and into the league, you just two defeats from seven in the league. Obviously, wins over the likes of Exeter away. Within that, I guess that's the form that you're looking to improve and quickly shoot up a, a very tight league. Yeah, good form. Yeah, two defeats in seven suggests to me that you know we're actually a team that playing on the front foot and we're, we're all aware and conscious of what our responsibilities are and we're putting them into practice you know we've, we've done that now for seven games you know the, the level of commitment that the players are showing is right at the very top yes there's certain parts of our game that I feel like we could be a lot more clinical with of course we've gone over that it's like a you know it's like a record that we've heard before but that still applies and we have to make sure that we get that right let's hope we can do that this week